Yeah, I paint a lot of uh, nature scenes. I like to go outside in the woods. I like to get lost in the woods, you know. Um, I love painting aspens, you know. I kind of look at them as like people, you know. They're different. Um, uh, every time you paint them, you know, they're all they're individual, unique creatures, you know. So they're really fun. And then, you know, mountains and regular landscape stuff too, you know. And I do enjoy uh, figurative work too. I've started out as a figurative artist and uh, do a lot of portraits and figurative work as well. Uh, my favorite subject matter is usually animals or nature scenes. And um, but I like to manipulate those things to produce the imagery for my paintings. I think it really helps us. I think it's great to be with someone else who's creative, who understands it, and we, you know, have the same goals in mind for the future instead of having different goals. And I think it uh, keeps it interesting too, for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, we we have fun, and uh, uh, Karen will see stuff in my work and give me pointers and I'll see stuff in her work and give her pointers so we get different perspectives and, and uh, yeah, it keeps it really fun and interesting, I think. I think we both, uh, like in our art, we both are nature lovers for sure. You can see that in our artwork, you know, how um, there's nature themes in, in our work. We're in the middle of it up here in this valley and I think that's one of the reasons what, what drew us up here. We're in a middle of like just awesome landscape so it's just it's just a perfect location to go outside and paint uh, all the cool stuff in Colorado. To, yeah to we Colorado. just took a trip to, out to Colorado and we're like yep this is where we gotta be. So yeah. we went to Denver and, and uh, yeah the rest was history I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh gosh well for painting you know I like all the colors I mean it's just how you use them but I think my favorite color is blue and I, you know, I use that a lot in my paintings, but I use a lot of ochre in my paintings and I use a lot of yellow in my paintings and white also to kind of keep it a muted, more neutral color instead of being too bold and too bright. And for me it would be orange and blue. I just like, they're complementary colors, you know, I like them both, one's warm and one's cool, so I like them next to each other. So I start out with a brush and uh, do a full blocking with the color, and then when I get the blocking going, I'll, I'll switch to a uh, palette knife, and the majority of the painting will be all palette knife, um, and that's what you'll see in more of my colorful, more impressionistic uh, uh, style of work, uh, I like playing with broken color. You know, and I'll do that with like a smaller brush, start breaking up the color a little bit more, start to get it to react. And I also like a lot of, a little more contemporary styled work, and, and for that I usually work on um, a panel, and uh, I layer the paint, and generally I don't use any brushes at all, I use like random tools to kind of play with textures and build it up and stuff. So, um, those are a couple uh, ways I like to paint. And, ways I like to explore. What inspires me in my work is when I'm outside in nature, the time of day, I'm into a lot of abstract concepts, you know, like um, color and, and shape and texture and uh, design and uh, paint application and uh, things like that. So um, yeah, that usually gets me up in the morning to paint. Fall time, I love autumn, you know, I like the weather's great, you know, it's mild and Love the color, you know, I, I do a lot of paintings in fall, so uh, definitely my favorite time of year around here. Well, we really enjoy being full-time artists right now, and that's pretty much what we want to do for the rest of our lives. Or, yes, it is what we want to do for the rest <laughs> yeah. of our lives. And I don't think we'll be retiring, will we? No, probably not. <laughs> I think that's probably what... our hands fall off. Or... Yeah, as long as we can use our hands, and <laughs> we'll, we'll be painting and doing art for as long as we can do it. Uh, yeah. And if you can't uh, visit us in Salida, feel free to check us out at carlborg.com and kmwatkins.com.